Peter Senior, practice round at Concord, a place you're pretty familiar with. Uh, very much so. Played here a lot of tournaments in the early days and uh, geez, the course is in great shape. This is the first time I've played it since uh, they've redone it. They've taken out a lot of trees, made it a little wider, so uh, I don't think the young guys are going to have too much trouble this week, but uh, geez, the course is in great shape. It's amazing considering the, the weather we've had. Uh, you know, we looked at the bunkers, we looked at the greens, and there's no water in any of them, so uh, they did a hell of a job with the redesign, and uh, you know, all credit to the designer for doing the great job he did. So tell me, what's your memory of this course now, most, most notably that's changed in the, in the current redo? Uh, just the tightness of the yep. fairways. Um, you know, if you missed a fairway here, and they weren't very wide, uh, you were in all sorts of trouble with overhanging trees. Now there's quite a bit of room. Um, you know, I don't have too much trouble missing fairways. I have more trouble hitting, uh, reaching the fairways now. But uh, you know, but the no, the course is good. Scoring will be good, and uh, the guys are going to have a really enjoyable week. So how's your physical capacity back to 100? Um, yeah, everything's going well. Uh, my game's okay. Um, I know I'm a bit out of my own depth here. With the, you know, I played with some young guys today, and. Uh, you know, there's 70, 80 metres in front of me, so, um, but you know, you've got to put a score on the board, and um, I've always been good at doing that, and hopefully I'll do it this week. Are you ever daunted by that, or you just don't worry about it? No, I've, I've never been an overly long hitter anyway, and, uh, you know, it's never really bothered me. Uh, putting a score on the board is all I worry about. Uh, what do you, first look here, do you think it's going to be, I mean, obviously a lot depends on what the weather does. Yep. Is it going to be a shootout, or is it going to be a, a um, grind? Uh, no, I think it'll be a shootout because a lot of the young guys, I mean, the par fives are all reachable in two with irons yeah. for them. Uh, they can drive a couple of the par fours. Uh, the ball's not running, so they're not getting into any trouble. Um, so I think the score is going to be pretty low. What are you, what are we, what are you expecting of yourself? Um, you know, if I can... If I can get it off, off to a good start, and I'm going to have to have a good short game this week. You know, the par fives I can't reach, so I'm going to have to pitch well from 50 yards. And, um, you know, the shorter, shorter holes I've got to take advantage of. Um, there's a couple of par fours out there that I three wood into today. Yep. Um, but, you know, that's that's all part of the game. You know, it's nothing that I haven't done before. Have you given up hope of having another win in, in another decade? Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, that'd be something if that happens. It really would. But it would th be. Th there's a lot going on. Like, you know, you see Lee Westwood doing crazy things and... Yeah, you know, golf's, golf's a number. It's not an age. Yeah. You know, and I always think of Tom Watson nearly winning the British Open at 60 years of age. You know, it's golf is a number. And you must have really fond memories of this course. Um, I, I've always played pretty well here. Um, I had a chance to win a New South Wales Open here when Norman was here. Um, yeah, it's, it's always good to come back to places where you've played well before. It's great to see you here, Good luck great. for the week. Thank you.